This is a few second preview of the bowl I'm going to make today. Okay, I have another piece of pig nut hickory that I got in a whole collection of them. It's about 11 and a half inches in diameter. It's about five inches in height here. I've got a 13.8 inch diameter piece of cardboard that I'll clear by half an inch or something. I'm gonna make this round. I set, I offset this away from the camera here. You can't tell so much, but I, because there's more coloration in the edges of the board at that location. There's miscellaneous red and brown dark areas inside this fairly light hickory. And so we'll see if I can capture some of that. My intent is this is the top, this is the bottom. It's gonna be a normal salad bowl when I get done. At least that's my plan at this point. Here's that hickory or pig nut hickory piece that I've split. I've rounded off the ends on the bandsaw. I've, I've got a wood worm screw point drilled out. And this was where I was originally thinking I'd put my face plate, but I decided a wood worm screw. I am using the three inch um, jaws instead of the two inch jaws. Um, I think it'll work out. some sanding on the outside. I've got my um, tenon over here, a little foot over here. I'm going to leave this bark here and here. I've already flap sanded that with the Sandoflex and I wire brushed it. Um, this side I haven't done any much on. I did a little bit but it's I had to turn it around really. You can see there's a, maybe you can see it, maybe you can't. There's a split right there where the bark is starting to come off. So I, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. I've put super glue on all of the lighter surface of the bark and on the crack um, but I've taken some of that off by machining so I might have to go back over and do it again so um, I'm going to do some sanding now just to get rid of some of these sig more significant tool marks 
And I've got these features that I like. I don't know exactly what caused them, but they're interesting. Um, obviously, I got the bark and more of those features. Overall, it's um, going to be neat. Now, what will end up is because I've got this bark here, this dimension to the edge of that bark is four inches and the dimension to the edge of this is five inches. So what that's going to say is if I want to clear the bark, leave the bark on without making the side break out, I'm going to have about an inch of more thickness on the end where there's no bark than where there's bark. So the, there'll be a lot of, the bowl will be relatively heavy. It's not going to be a lightweight, thin walled bowl. If I make it real thin, I can maybe bid a little bit better than that, but in general it's about an inch difference in the diameter from here to there, or the radius, and from here to there. So that means the wall thickness over here is going to be relatively thick. Okay, I have sanded the back to 400. I have um, flap sanded or Sandoflex the bark, and I've um, got this turned around onto a, my middle sized mortise or tenon. And so, next thing I'll be doing is machining this edge. Just a little bit further. So, what's going to end up, and I, I talked about this a little bit earlier, but right there, that's five and a three quarters inches from the center to this edge, and it's six or seven inches to there. So there's a one and a quarter inches difference in the radius where there's no bark to where there is bark. So when I draw a circle in here and come out to that point, let's say I come out to five and a quarter inches, which is and maybe a little a little bit more. Let's see what this side is. Yeah, five and a quarter inches would leave some amount of wood below the bark. So five and a quarter inches here, like I said, seven. So that means there's one and three quarter inch wide rim in this area. And I might be able to round it off a little bit so that I don't machine this. But overall, I think that's gonna be the width of my rim. One and, a qu one and three quarter inches, one and a qu half inches, some, somewhere in that ballpark. Okay, I'm <clears throat> I got a cold here, just in case you wanted to know why my voice sounds different. Um, I, I got to hollow this out because if I don't, it's going to crack on me because I don't have, it's not nothing to relieve the pressure. So I'm going to hollow it out, I don't know, an inch and a half in here and then let it sit for a little while. Um, but I want to get it partially hollowed out so that I can um, relieve some tension in it. I think it's overall pretty good. There's a couple of cracks that I'm going to have to fix, but they, I don't think they'll propagate much further than they are already.
Here's my latest pignut hickory bowl. It's about 13 and three quarters of an inch along that longest dimension. Obviously, it's a little narrower where the bark is, and so that's why I have such a wide rim. The minimum thicknesses are close to a half an inch, and that's because the bark is about a quarter and the wood is about a quarter. I didn't want to expose wood on the, or bark on the inside, at least not much. There's, there's some included bark. I think that's what all of these little barks in the middle of the bowl are. Okay, here's the bottom view. I uh, can see I've got um, bark on two sides and then some included bark here and, and on the other side. I don't know exactly what caused that, but you can see that the bowl has got a lot of um, live edge. And I do like the look of the bark, particularly in this lighter area. So I have really dark, I have some included lichens that have been finished over. Um, and there's red, yellow, brown, you know, the colors are nice variation. The bowl is relatively large. I got my wooden nickel on the back.